Just like After Effects and Illustrator and Photoshop, Cinema 4D also has layers. Now here I have four uh, objects. One is animated through Expresso. If you double click, you'll see that the uh, object is rotated using the rotate node. One is animated through the traditional keyframes. If you select the figure, you'll see that the uh, edge is animated. And one is a spline extruded by the extrude object. The fourth object is a cube which is uh, twisted by the twist deformer. Now we want to create uh, a layer and put all of these objects in on the layer. To do that you go to the layers tab and you double click. Now if you want to add uh, an object to a layer you just drag it and put it under the name of the layer. But if that object has uh, children they won't go on the layer children and tags they won't go in the on the layer unless you hold control and drag the object on the layer you'll see that the children and the uh, tags will go on the layer drag the all of these objects on the layer now the first button is the solo button which means uh, only show the the objects that are on this layer nothing else so if we create a text object text line that's not on the layer and you press the solo button it will show only these objects not the text text spline that we just created so let's delete the text spline the second button is the visibility button so if you press it it just hides the objects from the viewport. They are still going to be rendered. If you press the render button, they are still going to be rendered in the final render. The third is the render uh, object. So if you uh, disable it, which, that means that the objects are not going to be rendered, but they will be visible in the viewport. So there is no. if you press the render button, they will not be rendered. The fourth button is the manager which means hide these objects from the object manager, which is this one. So if you have a cluttered scene, they will not be shown here just for uh, housekeeping. The fifth, is, the fifth button is the lock button, so it locks all these objects, so you can't edit them, you can't even select them here in the viewport. A is for animation. It disables any uh, keyframe animation, so as I said, this object was uh, animated by traditional keyframes. If you play the animation, you'll see it's animated. Now if you disable the animation, the other object will still be animated because it's animated by Expresso and will not be affected. But this object uh, will be stopped, will stop animating. The G is for generator, so any generator. So that means the pyramid, the extrude, the cube are all generators because you can control them through parameters. The figure is made into an editable object, so it's not a gener generator, so it's, it will be shown. It, this, one, this G button is going to disable only the generators. And also the uh, deformers are not generators, so obviously they'll be visible. D is for deformers. This disables any deformer, so this cube was uh, affect, affected by a deformer, which is the twist deformer. If you disable it, it'll go, it'll go back. It will disable the twist deformer. E is for Expresso. So this, cube, this pyramid was animated by Expresso. If you play the animation, you'll see it's animating. Now if you disable the Expresso tag, it will stop the animation. X is for uh, bringing a whole scene into your scene as one object, with, which I will make, uh, which I will make tutorials about later in the future.